Tesla rescinds an order from a supplier and also files a lawsuit against its former autopilot director. The disputed supercharger in Washington will stay, and we have a nice Model 3 promo video. Here are your Tesla tidbits for January 27th, 2017. We started Electrek today, where Tesla delivered the bad news to one of its suppliers. As you'll recall, when we started receiving deadlines for Model 3, Elon said that Tesla expected to hold its suppliers to fairly strict guidelines in order to ensure the Model 3 launched on time. It seems we've found the first supplier that didn't hold up their end of the bargain. German supplier SHW Automotive announced this week that, quote, an electric car maker had canceled a 100 million euro order, end quote, for axle drive pumps that, quote, failed to meet its requirements, end quote. The company didn't disclose who the customer was, but with the size and timing of the order, all assumptions at the time were that it was Tesla. SHW said Tuesday that it disagreed with the reasoning behind the order cancellation and that it reserves the right to seek damages. At this time, it is unknown if they've pursued the option or not. Adding to the intrigue on this one is that German media have speculated that the order cancellation was not due to quality issues, but political ones. With Donald Trump now U.S. president, his potential to instate border taxes on imports into the country could harm overseas supplier relationships. A source within the company told German newspaper Verdichaf Woche that the reasons were, quote, not technical but political, end quote. They added that SHW, quote, had no indications from engineers, end quote, that the parts weren't up to snuff until the order was canceled. Now, if this whole mess sounds familiar, it's because it is. Tesla had major issues with the supplier responsible for Model X's Falcon Wing doors, which it eventually sued and settled the matter out of court. Tesla has confirmed the news with the statement saying, quote, The main reason why we now confirm that we canceled the order is to counter those utopian claims that we are acting in response to political pressure. The fact is the order was canceled because technical standards weren't complied with, end quote. Electrek notes that we've heard nothing of this endangering Model 3 production timeline yet, and adds that when canceling an order of this size, a manufacturer typically has a plan B in mind. However, I'll refer you back to the aforementioned Falcon Wing doors from the Model X. I think our only solace here is the fact that the Falcon Wing doors were custom engineering, and axle drive pumps don't sound like something nearly as complex. With roughly five months to go until the supplier deadline, let's hope they do indeed have a plan B, or the Model 3 will nearly certainly slip. Continuing at Electric, we see unfortunate news that Tesla is suing its former director of autopilot, Sterling Anderson. We've learned through the suit that Anderson has joined with the former head of the Google self-driving car program, Chris Ermson, to form a company called Aurora. Tesla alleges that on his way out the door, Anderson stole data from the autopilot program and attempted to poach employees. Aurora sent the following statement to Electrek, quote, Tesla's meritless lawsuit reveals both a startling paranoia and an unhealthy fear of competition. This abuse of the legal system is a malicious attempt to stifle a competitor and destroy personal reputations. Aurora looks forward to disproving these false allegations in court and to building a successful self-driving business, end quote. However, as Teslas want to do in situations like these, they're providing some fairly pinpoint accusations. Tesla alleges that Anderson and Ermson have been in discussion since the summer of 2016 to create the company. Anderson announced his departure in December and did not disclose the fact that he'd be leaving to form his own company in the autonomous driving space. As a result, he was permitted to stay on through the next software update. From the lawsuit, quote, Obviously, had Anderson disclosed the true facts to Tesla, he would have been terminated immediately. Instead, it was agreed that Anderson would remain with the company through the release of the next autopilot upgrade, expected within the following several weeks, end quote. On top of this, Anderson had a clause in his contract preventing him from poaching employees. But to skirt this, he simply provided Ermson the names of the people to pursue from the autopilot team. Further, Tesla alleges that he swiped truckloads of data related to autopilot. Quote, Anderson also downloaded hundreds of gigabytes of Tesla confidential and proprietary information to his personal Toshiba hard drive. Upon the end of his employment, Anderson was required to return all originals and copies of all documents and other company property in his possession. Anderson returned his company-issued laptop, but not the, quote, backups, end quote, that he had regularly created, which contained hundreds of gigabytes of data, including some of Tesla's most competitively sensitive information, end quote. Finally, the company alleges that he attempted to cover his tracks by, quote, manually hacking the timestamps on files and secure erasing others, end quote.
They also say that his company laptop and iPhone had damning evidence of his unlawful solicitation of Tesla employees. Of note here is Tesla's record in lawsuits versus former employees. The company has not done well, not winning a single suit that I can find. In the most famous example against co-founder Martin Eberhardt, there was question that he dropped the suit due to an undisclosed settlement, as he'd won an opening volley in the case before the sudden drop. This one may turn the tide, though, as the amount of evidence Tesla says that it has is pretty convincing. We'll have to see now if they can convince a jury. We turn to Tesla Arati for a follow-up on an earlier story about Aberdeen, Washington Mayor Eric Larson. Larson was seeking $8 million in funding for a development in the town, which would also incorporate a supercharger. What Mayor Larson didn't tell anyone was that he owned Tesla stock while trying to broker the deal. The original contract was nullified, Larson paid a $500 fine, and the contract was returned to city council for review. Fortunately for Tesla, the city council found no wrongdoing in the end, as Larson was not yet mayor when Tesla initiated contact to build out the location. In addition, the lot in question would house not only superchargers, but other charges charging stations as well. Finally, Tesla frequently creates promotional videos for its cars for use within its stores. It seems a new one has begun promoting Model 3, but hasn't officially been released online. Credit to Model 3 Owners Club, as they released an as-good-as-can-be-expected off-monitor recording of the promo video. Check it out at the link in the description. Check out the links to all of today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks so much to my super patrons John Baltower, Drew Schuyler, and Cookie UK for their support at the $10 plus level. A special shout out to first time patron Burhan Halalov for that contribution as well. As I always say, if you can spare even a quarter a month, or in Burhan's case, a buck a month, every little bit helps the cause. And as I also frequently say, if you have nothing to spare, it's no big deal. You can still support the show for free with positive reviews and by spreading word of the show. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's it for today. I'll see you back here again next week. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.